guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of season 2 of Soon Runes. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Yes, you can't have a show without a beach episode. Does that mean we're going to see my... Oh my god, please, I need it. I need it. I mean, you know, we kind of really get it when he does like the half. Is, I need the whole. I need the whole. Shit. Oh, they're having a training camp as well. On the same on the same day, same time, same place. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> be like, oh my god, this this trip is ruined. Why are we here then? Let, let's just go. We don't need to be here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm happy that, you know, these two are the two groups because I, I really want to see these boys interact more with each other. I mean, we all know the situation in Nikaido and Saya and um, Minato, especially uh, Nikaido and Minato. But you want to see, I want to see how Kaito is going to react to just anyone in this group. I mean, yes, they're still a little intimidated by them i get it because yes they're very different but mm, you just want to see how they interact i mean it's like okay if i can compare it to something else of course you already know what it is freaking pretty care when we're outside and literally when someone who has done pretty care for a year interacts with another person who did pretty care in a different show but when the pretty cares interact in the pretty care show or the movies, it's just as good. You'd be like, it's too many fangirling moments. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I mean, there's no problem with sharing, right? We get that, but still. So cute, oh my God. Kill me. Right. Plus, there's nothing wrong with trying.
right? They're a distraction just as much as you are to them. Focus on yourself. That was a serve. Ho! Oh. <laughs> And I get it because he essentially has a lot riding on this. He is the one paying for literally everything for their club. Right? I mean, but I mean, it was nice to hear the breathing, though, but definitely ditch the mask, babe. Hold on, guys. Hey. Yeah, what's going on? Um, I'm busy. I'm recording right now. I'll call you after. All right. Um, all right. I'll talk to you a bit, okay? Okay. All <laughs> they really just had him do that like <sighs> let's see that's killing any in a nutshell they're like yes we have an attractive boy man what we do suck his hair push back <laughs>
<sighs> no, you gotta get it for him since you messed up his glasses. Oh. Mm hmm Right? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That was so adorable. Like, the fact that even me and Anton just knew what he gave what he, did, he just gave it to him. Oh my god. That's fine though. Oh my god, Nikaido. Ah, oh, that water's so beautiful.
course. He really looks more as his uncle, as his father figure, but even having that conversation with him just a couple minutes ago and seeing that his only other father figure that he had is letting him down, uh, letting him down as well, of course, he, he feels the need to kind of close himself off for him. Damn. And I don't think he's being, he's doing it for excuses. That's why he's doing it. He kind of. And there's the babies. You're about to come beat them up. I think more or less she's done teaching adults, not kids. Whoa, hold up now. And ever since that day, he's been having this promise to himself. Oh, honey. Hi, Daddy. You kind of all. You can't just want him to be revengeful and angry all the time. Of course it is.
on the beach. Pahora. What if he says no, though? Nikaido. I get it. Because once again, everything is riding on this for him. I, and I really do feel bad for him. Like, oh God, yeah, he might be the saddest character of this show. Jesus, because like, la God, what, last year was show? Definitely show. Um, and now this year it's him. But, ooh, I was not expecting it to go down like that. And him having the semi-argument with his uncle, a.k.a. his secondly father figure. And his uncle is like, oh, for me, like, what are you talking about and stuff? And so he's like, never mind. Like, just drop it. I'll talk to you later. That's him still closing himself off, even towards his uncle, which is the craziest thing because you, you love him, truly. But the biggest thing is, you're he, he's almost afraid and, and i hate to use the word excuses but as i said previously but it does feel like a lot of things are coming up for his uncle that every single time when nikaido is hearing something from his uncle it sounds like excuses to him and such and i think we've all been there with you know friends family whoever where they're like oh i have to do this no i have to do that and stuff where it's like they never really give you the time of day and there's so much that you can take from it to a point where it's just like you're you're personally in your feelings and you're like, okay, I have to take that initiative first step and kind of push you away and just focus on me. And sometimes it is like that. Yes, it really truly hurts, but that is life at the end of the day. And even though it, it's his revenge on wanting to get revenge for his uncle and against this woman who turned his uncle away i understand why he's doing it but he he sees too much right as of right now and he needs to kind of step back and look at it as a different way but i feel like yeah they're like as much as i would like to see them win at nationals i feel like they're not going to win at nationals maybe i could see them in third or fourth place but as of right now no i cannot see them winning at nationals now Fua Senpai asking Minato if they could, you know, have Masa coach them. Like, it, it is very interesting. I, I wonder if, if it would have been better if they would have asked him himself, but he was having a conversation with Nikaido at the time. So, my biggest thing is, is it going to show up next week? Is he going to be like, oh, hey, um, can you also train us? I, I think it would be interesting to see Masa train both of these two different schools and how they're, they're vastly for these clubs very different but they're still unique at the same time and such but i mean they could also do a spin-off on these boys and give us about 12 to 13 episodes literally focused on them 
Um, even though Nikaido and Fuo will be graduating this year by the end of the series and such, but they still could give us something. Maybe. If it's not like an anime, um, 12 episode series, they could do an OVA special on them. They could do a like novel on them and such. Something to still give us like the necessary things that we do need for these five boys. Like seriously. However, the show is going to end in the next couple of weeks. I'm still going to be sad and <laughs> regardless at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode. Uh, thank you, Mouse. <laughs> episode 9 of Season 2 of Sunroon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for Episode 10. Bye, guys.